Hi friends, I'm Pavdra. I am going to talk about DNA forensics. First of all, we need to know about the basics. So, we'll get started. Cytogenetic is a branch of genetics that studies the structure of DNA within the cell nucleus. It is concerned with how the chromosomes relate to cell behavior, particularly to their behavior during mitosis and meiosis. Clinical cytogenesis work as a part of a medical team responsible for detecting and analyzing the chromosome in different types of samples with the purpose of detecting and interpreting chromosome abnormalities, such as increase or reduction in the number of chromosomes. Genetics mainly deals with the study of genes, hereditary and genetic variation. DNA is a molecule that carries genetic information in all living organisms and virus where it is used in reproduction, functioning, growth and development. Molecular genetics. It is a combinational study of both molecular biology and genetics. The field of microbiology provides the most detailed and convincing evidence available for biological evolution. Where genetics it consists of a ancestral ancestral database to help the evolution know their exact location and all those stuff. Genetics and genomics. Genetics and molecular biology. Basically, they are both are different. Genetics it cruisinizes the functioning and composition of a single gene. Genomic, which addresses all genes and their inter inter interrelationship in order to identify their combined influence on growth and development of the organism. Now by all these means of science we can utilize this in uh, civil laws and criminal justice system the field of forensic science draws from a number of scientific branches including physics chemistry and biology it has become an essential part of juridic system as it utilizes a broad spectrum of science to achieve information relevant to criminal and legal evidence <coughs> DNA analysis where in a crime scene they collect evidence and they, the evidence has, has gone under screening from which DNA extraction is taken place then quantitative uh, of DNA is checked and then PCR amplification is done. After this process genotyping is used to check whether the profiles get to be matched or not. Screening. Screening tests are used to evaluate evidence in determining the possible pres uh, presence of controlled substance and to classify these controlled substances into general categories. Sources of DNA at a crime scene, for example, blood, saliva, semen, urine, hair, etc. Extraction. Extraction is the process of releasing the DNA from the cell. Quantitation is the process of determining how much DNA you have. Amplification is the process of producing multiple copies of DNA in order to characterize it. Separation is the process of separating amplified DNA product to permit subsequent identification. Analysis and interpretation in the process of quantitative and qualitative comparing DNA evidence samples to known DNA profiles. Let's see what are the steps involved. Extraction. In extraction, we have four steps lysis, precipitation, purification, resuspension. Lysis, the new the cells are broken up, thus releases DNA. This process involves mechanical disruption and uses enzyme and detergents like protein ASK to dissolve the cellular protein and free them. Precipitation separates 
separates the free DNA from the cellular debris. It involves usage of sodium ions to neutralize any negative change, ne negative charge in DNA molecules, making them less water soluble and more stable. Purification. After separation of DNA from aqueous solution, it is then rinsed with at alcohol. Purification remove all the remaining cellular debris and unwanted materials. Resuspension. Once the purification is uh, completed, uh, the DNA is then dissolved in water again for convenient and st storage and for safe handling. After the extraction from which we get the DNA samples, we will get we will be doing amplification. By this amplification, we will know the characterization of a particular DNA. PCR is a polymerase chain reaction, a way to generate large amount of DNA from a single copy. Methods used are denaturing, annealing, extending. Denaturation of target, which means simply template. Usually it undergoes at 95 degrees Celsius. Reduce double stranded into single stranded molecules. Annealing of primers. Temperature of annealing depends on the C plus G content. It undergoes at a temperature of 40 to 68 degrees celsius extension temperature used by qual polymerase and so many optimized for individual polymerase which undergoes 70 to 75 degrees celsius this is a basic interpretation of how pccr works RAPD pcr it is a random amplified of polymer polymorphic dna uh, it does not require any specific knowledge of the dna sequence of the target organism depending on portion of the complementary to the primer sequence for example no fragment is produced if primers anneal too far or three prime ends of the primers are not facing each other this is this is a simple way to explain it where the of after the amplification uh, amplification it undergoes electrophoresis the size of the amplified fragments were detected and compared capillary electrophoresis uh, uh, capillary electrophoresis is a family of electrokinetic separation method compared in sub millimeter diameter capillaries and in micro and nanofluid channels amplified dna products analyzed by capillary electrophoresis fluorescent dyes with excitation and emission trace result in detection of dna fragments cost effective approach to do dna sequencing that provides high throughput and high accuracy sequencing information short tandem repeat short tandem repeat is a micro satellite with repeat units that are two to seven base pair in length with the number of repeats varying among individual making str effective for human identification process the this method uses highly polymorphic regions that have short repeated sequence of DNA. As unrelated people almost certainly have different number of repeat units, it is you it is easy to find out. STR analysis does not cut the DNA with restriction enzyme. Variation in DNA sequence between individuals are termed polymorphism. This activity is based on analyzing the inheritance of a class of DNA polymerism known as short tandem repeats. STR analysis. Genotyping is preferred by comparing to STR-alic ladder. 
STR ALG ladder represent all possible STR design for a given DNA site. There are three outcomes: match, no match, inconclusive. By these results, we can identify the results. For example, here is an example for match. The results are apparently same, so the profile DNA profile mag matches. This is where we can see there are no match as the results are varying very rare and hence the DNA profiles get no match. Other applications of DNA analysis identification of mass disaster victims where when a mass disaster occurs uh, we lose many people so but initial like like eventually eventually we can't know people so by their genetic material we are getting to know them and there is a project which is created in 1992 organization dedicated to exonerating wrongful convicted people through dna testing and performing the criminal justice system to prevent future injustice thank you for sparing your time it is a wonderful topic uh, hope you have enjoyed